dollar, 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 dollar. Dirt and money, no so. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. Today, we have 10 scary videos for full screen terror. We're just here to, you know what I'm saying, vibe out to some scary, you know what I'm saying? We're not here to debunk whether or not it's real or fake. I'm just, the last time you wanted me, you was like, you normally you be trying to, to go in and say, get, get to be I don't want to do okay, that, you well, know I'm what I'm saying? Because typically, every time we, I try to debunk somebody, there's several people in the comments, mm -hmm. they, they get an attitude with it. They be like, why y'all trying to, trying to debunk? Okay, just, well, got it. Not going to do that. Just here for a good time. <laughs> But yeah. well, we will try to analyze some stuff and just see, hey, am my eye deceiving me? Mm -mm. Type thing. Yeah, that's what you ain't finna just sit here and watch. You can, like, wait, you can get up and walk off for that. Well, you better shut up. Look at you. Okay, come Pikachu. on. Pikachu. But <laughs> <laughs> that said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go. If you want the first part, you gotta do a check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Like it with a thumbs up. And we highly appreciate it. But let's dive in, y'all. Let's check it out. Let's see what's about you ready. I'm ready. Leg get it. Leg oh. Pause before we press play. Y'all know we on the road to 300 k By the end of the year. So that means you need to hit that subscribe button. You know what? Subscribe. Turn on them noties, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all be missing out on a lot of stuff. And then we always see, because people like, y'all fall off. No, check back in three or four days, bro. The videos, I swear, bro. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know what's going on what's with going our YouTube. On, but our video goes like this. It says, first two days, third day, fourth day. I'll be like, dude. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> It's so weird, bro. Only thing you can do is just keep doing your job, and that's what we're gonna do. But you ready, see? I'm ready. Only reason why I say turn your notice because some of y'all be missing, and y'all be like, Hey, y'all need to react to this, and we be like, We have. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you know these on, man? Y'all be missing. But let's go. Hidden away in the countryside of Chillicothe, Ohio, is the Schrader Road Tunnel. Built Ohio. underneath a set of railroad tracks in 1927. The old road tunnel is said to be extremely haunted. The story goes that long ago, a woman was carrying her baby while walking along the train tracks late at night. The two were hit by an oncoming train. It is said that her ghost and the ghost of her baby haunt the Schrader Road Tunnel. Wow. Many people who have traveled through the tunnel report that they have seen the ghostly figure of a woman holding her baby. Others report hearing odd, unexplained wails and moans. Because of this, locals started referring to the Schrader Tunnel by a very different and much creepier name, the Crybaby Tunnel. Crybaby. So, Levi Woodruff is intrigued by the spooky stories and sets out to explore the Crybaby Tunnel late one night. As you might imagine, it did not go well. So I've been down in here in a place called Crybaby's Tunnel. Could it be because it's so echoey? And then if, if like, I see water, and I'm like, does the water kind of run? Because if it's water running or dripping or something, it's and it's a like long a tunnel, and it could be crying. Ooh, you never know. Nothing. You never know. It's a, a place. Or the wind blow. It's local around my area. And they say she got hit on the tracks with her baby. What the from, her so it is water around. flow. Right there in the creek. Dumb. Creek down here. Y'all didn't say that. There's something dead right there. <gasps> what? Bro, there's something dead right there. We ain't come here to see a dead body now. <laughs> Facts. Like, what, 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 what was that? What's that? Boys in the hood? Do you want to see a dead body? Oh. <laughs> that thing what? Boys in the hood? It's a dead deer. Oh. It's a dead deer. I've been out here forever trying to get stuff done. This place is spooky. Is anybody out there? Uh. Don't ask for something, you don't want it. <laughs> but when it shows itself to you, you ain't gonna want it. You turned that camera a little too fast, dog. 
I mean, not the camera, the light. And the camera. Ooh. Never mind. What is that? Never mind. Bitch, that's, that's, a, that's a baby crying. That ain't water right there. I don't know what the hell that is. Is he by himself? I don't know. Hello? See, like, see, like you did that post edit. I ain't said nothing. You said we ain't doing that. Yeah, you better run. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> In the pitch black darkness of the tunnel with nothing but a flashlight, mm -hmm. Levi suddenly hears the disturbing cries <laughs> of a baby. Familiar with the spooky stories Levi's about the tunnel, <laughs> Levi makes a run for it. <laughs> so could these cries belong to the spirit of the baby that tragically passed away at the creepy old railroad tunnel? And is the ghost of the baby's mother also inside, just waiting for someone to come in? Oh, hell no. Hey, hold on. Hey, hey, see, 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 this ain't a try not to laugh. We're supposed to be serious. I'm trying not to laugh. Well, this ain't a try not to laugh. I know. But you laugh. Because we might make me laugh. I was like, I feel you, Levi, because I, look, I wouldn't even, I, look, bigs up for going, because I wouldn't have been there, no way. Mm-mm. Of light and shadows. TikTok creator Anthony Yamada has dedicated his TikTok page to making videos about life in Japan and the available homes and real estate there. Okay. In one of his videos, Anthony is giving a tour through an affordable four bedroom home in Fukuoka City, Japan, when this happens. Here's what $760 gets you in Fukuoka, Japan. Now today we have a classic Japanese home, starting with a very nice tatami room. This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. This for Hold on, bitch. Chad, what you say? Yeah, that, that's the reason why it's so cheap. Who this motherfucker? <laughs> ain't, ain't a big old dude. Yeah, who this motherfucker supposed to be? It's a Tommy room. This house will run you a monthly rent of Juni Monen. Or was this it This bedroom home is in a wonderful location. Three minute walk away from a supermarket, electronic that's store, and convenience stores. Did you see it? Well, Not a Anthony didn't, steal. but soon after he enters, a shadow can be seen moving around and standing behind a translucent I ain't no Japanese moving around, wall. that bitch is still. But when Anthony looks behind the wall, there's no one there. But Anthony didn't notice any of this until shocked viewers quickly flooded the comment section, wondering if the reasonable price <laughs> of only 760 a month for a four bedroom home in a large popular city has anything to do with that. Some viewers even jokingly ask if the ghost is included with the house. Now, is this a Japanese ghost or not? And would you pay 760 a month to live with one? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Depends. Can I have furniture? Because I know sometimes it's disrespectful to have furniture in, in your home in Japan. You know, like the culturally etiquette, you know what I'm saying? They got their traditions. Can I furniture it out? Can I go to rooms to go get a hole? <laughs> Are you living there? Oh, Are you saying that? $760, that's better than America. With the ghost. It's, With a, the four, ghost. it's a four bedroom. That's a big. <laughs> What's the square footage? You like, you You can have this back, bedroom. Hell back. no, you can get your ass up. It ain't going to be that easy. Yes, it is. I was here first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You ain't paying no rent. He like, this our house. You ain't putting in no rent, so you get your ass out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not right now. We ca we cast broke spirits. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she goes. Okay, we must be like. Hey, we cast the brokies out. <laughs> if you can't contribute, you cannot eat. <laughs> the Bible says, "Man and don't." <laughs> Shut up, please. Oh my gosh! But um, short answer for me. Without the ghost, without the ghost. Oh, without the ghost, yeah, but he said Seven, with the ghost. 760 ain't bad, but yeah, that, that's baby, yeah. Four, can I can I deck it out? Maybe I'm old, yeah. Do it got a backyard? Can I can I throw some parties? Okay, there you go. You further turn into the hood. <laughs> that's what's wrong with you. Hey shit. No, 760? 
No, but all seriousness though, yeah, I would. Seven sixty. No, mine is the goals. Tell my friend. Tell my friend. Pull up. <laughs> Shit, how much of how much is eight bedroom? <laughs> Can I double it? <laughs> they shut up and come on. Can I double it for 14? <laughs> be serious. Reaper. They be the serious. Guy <laughs> Jess is a certified nursing assistant. One night she's working the late shift in the psychiatric unit at an old and allegedly haunted children's hospital in Maine. She spots something oh, that sends a chill down her spine. Okay, there's nobody here, right? Nobody here. What is that? Because it is not me. This is me leaving, closing the door. What is that? And here comes the door back opening. And nobody's there. But yet. A dark human-like figure can be seen standing in front of Jess in the hospital hallway mirror. But there's no one there. A TikTok commenter points out that she might be seeing the image of a reaper, there to collect someone to take their soul to the other side. Jess confirms that, strangely, one of her patients actually did pass away the following day. It's worth mentioning that Nurse Jess has never posted any paranormal content on her TikTok and has only ever shared videos about her life and experiences working as a certified nursing assistant. So could this be a reaper caught on camera? You decide down below. You decide, see. You wanna tell your story about your experience in, in the nursing homes? Not no. working. Not yeah, working. You no, ain't never I worked to, in a nursing home. No, you, I never worked in a nursing home. What's your mom? mom? No, I used to go, like, when my mom was at work and stuff, I either, like, go up there and visit her. Or sometimes, like, if she was about to get ready to get off or something, I, like, mm -hmm. get dropped off, like, there. And I was just, like, sit and wait for a couple <laughs> hours for her to get off of work or something. Mm -hmm. But the hospital that she used to work in was definitely haunted. Like, <laughs> not, I, Y'all, I'm so serious. It was goes, everyone used to talk about it, and they like knew it. They go say go so back to it. Is it still? No, nah, you said it tore down, right? Or yeah, they, it's tore down, but it's still on the same grounds. They rebuild it they on rebuild the same them. grounds. So the grounds like, are still haunted. Just like then. turned the opposite way of what it was like. Used to, it's just yeah. facing a different road. But they used to talk about it all the time. Either like the piano that they had like in the break room. Um, while the patients used to be in somebody stuff. used to be in a big plan. Yeah, like it is just like they, it's just <laughs> playing. No one was like, yeah, like I used to experience. Hey, that'd like, be dope, though. Stuff. Peep this, that'd be dope. I'm in, I'm in that joint. Ain't <laughs> nobody over there. Like, come on, like, no that, physical person. No, I'll be, like, I'll be over there. Turn that bitch up. Tell that bitch up. Yeah, that ain't nothing for Mr. Larry <laughs> over there playing on that piano. Was, I'd be like, I want Love some now. mom again. Some little bit. I'd be like, oh, split up. <laughs> he, know, he know what he doing, though. <laughs> but I guess the good Keep thing. Keep playing him up. But I guess the good thing, no one was like really like scared for real. Like, you never know. Somebody well, probably somebody quit probably, their jobs here. Hey, I'm tired of this bullshit. Well, probably so. But my mom did used to say, like, like at nighttime, like, a certain end of the hall, like, towards, like, the front by the elevators. Because if elevators just, like, stop work, like, they never, like, really work like that. But no one wanted to go, like, to the front, front by, they, you know, by themselves or whatever. Like, the front. Uh-huh. Why is it? Because it's... Because the place was haunted. Like, a lot of stuff used to go on up there. Then, then you say you smell like piss? <laughs> okay, it's that's, a nurse at home. It's a nurse at home. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. All y'all little pissy grip here. <laughs> okay. Crafter Maura Johnson from Huntington Beach, California, is packing for a trip to sell her handmade goods at a Las Vegas trade show. Suddenly, she and her business partner hear something downright creepy coming from somewhere just below their feet. We're trying to deal with this. I have had not enough coffee to deal with this. Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Could that be like wind and 
Should that be the Passing way? through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I don't know, child. Because it looks like. it's. Didn't it look a little fallish? Like the leaves and stuff. So this one typically wind. I have I had know. not enough coffee to do I don't like know. This. <clears throat> Honestly, this is coming from the dream. Okay. Some What's that boy? What's the man here? You wanna come? What he used to say? <laughs> the blue, we all float. <laughs> what? What if you see a motherfucker? What if, what if she look down there and she saw red blue? Yeah. And then somebody, hey, we all float. <laughs> she would have She would have pissed ass shit herself though. I probably would have to. You would have to. Mm, You'd be like, well, you gonna float today, boss? Get your ass back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Quit bothering these good people. Mm. Get your ass over here. <laughs> mm -mm. Have you ever watched it? Mm. Like watch watched it? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did we watch it together? Yes. I wasn't scared of it. Y'all do not like you gotta it. You got to watch the old it. Yeah. Well, I'm fine. I heard that one was a little different. That was a little... The old it, yes. The new one is, is right up my alley. Like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Yo, that would be a good dress. I do not like anything scary. Where is that? What's going on in here? <laughs> I'm making y'all old ass on somewhere. So you see the little red balloon float up. Mara and her business partner hear creepy sounds and what can only be described as singing coming from the sewer drain. The time of this recording is at 5.45 in the morning, so it makes no sense that anyone would be down in the sewer that early, much less singing. Now, Mara is in no way claiming that she captured anything otherworldly. In fact, none of her videos on her TikTok page have anything to do with the paranormal at all. Mara simply posted this one creepy, unexplained moment that she Five something in the morning, show bright outside. That's bright as hell outside, five something in the morning. Now, if you said seven something in the morning, I'm like, okay, possibility, five something. Experienced. So, just what is this? And who or what is down in the sewer singing at 5.45 in the morning? Hell no. For now, this eerie capture remains Time unexplained. <laughs> We need scary <laughs> videos, <laughs> so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, say same send thing. it to me at nukestop5 like at gmail.com. A room with a view. Ever since they moved into their new apartment, Joey Chalutney and his family have been experiencing strange, unexplained activity. Mm. Their furniture and belongings seem to inexplicably move on their own. Mm. Their infant son's toys turn on and off at random. And they often hear the sound of doors and cabinets opening and closing mm. on their own. So on this particular day, Joey suddenly hears something very odd coming from his son's bedroom. Mm. He is determined to capture evidence of the supernatural activity in the apartment. So he takes mm. out his phone and begins to record. What he captures is truly chilling. Mm. So me and my wife have been living in this apartment for about six months now. For the past two weeks, some weird things have been happening. Uh, in our son's room so i wasn't gonna record but i, I actually I came here to feed the cats we have two cats so i came over to feed them and i, I noticed that in his room my son's room back here there's one of my cats i can hear his toy being played and it was not on before it is playing right now and i don't know why it's playing right now um i didn't leave it on but even if i did leave it on like i'll turn it off even if I did turn it on, it wouldn't automatically play. You'd have to, even if I brush over the keys, it doesn't really go. So you'd have to really press the button and then it go. And it was not on and it turned on and I could hear it. And that's why I started recording. And now that I'm looking around, I've like, there's stuff knocked over. There's plants knocked over, fake plants knocked over. There's books on the ground. The wipes are on the floor. And it's in your baby room? Your baby's room. Boy, you better get in that, in that thing with some holy water. Just get your ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Get your ass up out my room. Mm -mm. Put some oil on it. Put some oil on your ass. <laughs> you burning. 
Get your ass up on up out of here. I'm, man, I ain't got time to be playing with y'all. Y'all ain't paying no rent. I ain't playing up in my kids' room, if that is, you know. If, if you ain't babysitting, so you need to get your ass all up out of here. I'm, see, at least if you're going to be here, you're going to babysit. You're going to do something around here, cut the grass and stuff, put your ass to work, and, and not just scare folks. Damn. Or I don't know what is going on. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? What's just happening? See, when you got to point stuff out, I just want to be able to capture it. Don't point it out. But also, they say, he said he just moved into this crib. Who died before y'all got here? If you know, if you know, you know. Who, who died in this house? What? Start back uh, before y'all move into any place, whether rent, buy, or whatever. Get do, the backstory. Do some child. background Who checking, like here, what happened, why they when moved, was it built, when everything. Because I don't want shit built in the 50s, 60s, 70s, or the 80s. Damn near not even the 90s, or in the early 2000s. Give me some newly built and some fresh ground. <laughs> I want my toes to be the first one on this soil. You know what I'm saying? Well, it won't be, but yeah, it won't be, but you, you get you get the gist. Not the soil. Mm -hmm. Like the house with the woman in the trash can. Oh, baby, that. Hell no. Does somebody stay there now? Yeah. And I bet you that they probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna. This, man, like this the... man slaughtered his wife and threw her in the trash can in the garage and got skedaddled on up. What kind of shit is that? Yeah, that that's wild. But what takes the cake for me is the other one. You, the other house you showed me. Oh, the that other one, house I went to. That one would really. And be that man been in there like, since 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 the murder happened. He he moved in that joint a couple months later. He's the person that came in. They slaughtered the whole. He slaughtered his wife because it was his. It was his wife's. It was his in laws, right? It was his wife's dad house, but it was it was her stepmom. His in laws. Well, his in laws, but he he came in. He killed the wife. Her dad, his wife, which was his stepmom, was mother in law, stepmother in law, yeah, whatever okay, you yeah, want to say. It. And then turned the gun on himself and killed himself. A couple months later, somebody bought the house and they've been in there ever since. I could not. That is a. And then you see, you remember where it was located? Yeah. It was literally right there. There's no, there's only one house on one side. Then there's woods off to the other yeah. side. I could not stay and then there. It's, like it's a little, off little and cool. like... But it's. It's in a like. It's in a subdivision. But it's in a it's subdivision, like, but still like out. I don't know. It's I out. Think. It's out in the booties. It's out in the booties, y'all. But it's a like subdivision. Creepy vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And it just sits over there by itself, and it looked dark. It looks strange. Like even like going to look at it, just look eerie. I don't know why. Maybe it's in my head because you told me that. But or like when you just ride by, you just like yo, it feel like some dark energy. Like if you is like over. look up, I don't know. I'm just very. It like, feel dark. Yeah. And maybe it was because of the location of it, but it feels very eerie. Got an eerie feeling I with it. Yeah. I said, ooh, that's the house? And we looked it up. We said, ooh, somebody been staying out that long? I said, yeah, good luck, my boy. Just yeah. imagine. A... And then the other one where dude killed, like, he killed his wife. Like, it's a lot of, like, weird murders that happen here. Major majority of them are very, very domestic. Mm -hmm. Uh, And... Like, we live in a community where dinner is all suburban. You go from one suburb to another suburb to another suburb. It's, it ain't number suburbs. But it's another situation happened where the man, he he drove to he drove to Alabama, killed his wife, then came back here, got his kids from school, took him, to, took him home, and murdered his kids. Did he turn the gun on himself? I think so. I think, I think he, a, Yeah, I think so. Yep. His two sons, he murdered them in the house. After... Driving his driving to his wife uh in Alabama, killing her in Alabama, and then coming back driving here. Back to Tennessee. Was straight weird and crazy, bro. I said, bro, how how did y'all even allow him to travel that far? Well, Alabama ain't number two hours yeah, away. Alabama, I'll I used to work with people, they'd be like, Yeah, I live in Alabama. I'm like, Y'all drive all the way here? I'd be like, he number like a two hour drive. The cost of living way cheaper in Alabama. I'm like, but still. They still do it, yeah. Oh. There's nothing, nothing here. Do you see that? My head Am I insane? Am I insane? Did you see something? I don't see I, Someone just walked by the window. Oh, go and back. I, Let me see. Go back a little bit. Okay, right there. And there is no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, 
nothing here. Oh, you I, see see it? I, I see it. I still don't see it. You don't see it? it? My eyes say, irritate. Somebody literally just walked from this way to this. this my way. eyes ir Don't forget, my eyes been messed up. Well, all close day. that one and open the other one. There's no one here. I am here by myself. There's nothing, right here. nothing here. Do oh, you see that? It's, it's light. It's, it's very light. big. So am I insane? I someone just walk by the window, and I will I will go out there and show you that no one is here. This door is locked. This is the door you're just looking. At. This door is locked. There's nothing out here. Was that the patio? Mm -hmm. There's a closet door. This is also locked. I don't think we've ever opened that door. It's always been locked. Just Maybe you need to open it. Weirdest things are happening. An electronic toy turns on by itself, and as Joey looks around the room, a strange shadow can be seen passing by the balcony window. Joey shows that there's no one outside and that there's nowhere for anyone to hide. In fact, this window is on an enclosed balcony 12 feet off the ground. It would basically be impossible for anyone to climb up, walk by this window, and then just disappear by the time Joey rushed outside. Later that evening, Joey receives a motion notification from the nanny cam in his son's room. He checks the feed and is shocked by what he finds. What you find, Joey? Look really closely. The rocking chair starts to move. It's in the corner. It's too, it's too bright. It's very slight, it's very slight. But you can see the shadow kind of moving. It's rocking on its own. There's no one there. Everyone is at my mom's house right now. Everyone's at my mom's house. And then the wipes fly off the dresser. Ooh. And then Ooh. Oh. God, the hamper. The baby's hamper falls off. Somebody mad. What is going on? No one's there. What is happening? Somebody mad. The rocking chair sitting in the corner of his son's bedroom begins to rock back and forth. Somebody by mad. Itself, almost as if someone is sitting in it. Then some baby wipes fly off the dresser and a hamper falls over onto the floor. There ain't no follow. Joey says that the that family on. has already made plans to move to another apartment. And until then, mm. they will be staying at his mother's house. Scary videos. Jason Barber from Salisbury, North Carolina comes home from work and he gets the unexpected scare of a lifetime. <laughs> Did it make a sound? No, his ass got up on there trying to open the door. Oh, I he's he looking made a down. Sound. No, what it is, he's looking down. He just doing a casual, just walk like you know, so every, every, every day. So you ain't even paying attention to. But his reflexes was good, good enough. Can't get bit. Hey, that could have been bad. Oh, the cat was trying to warn him oh, the, the whole cat, time. Oh, the cat was a cat. The cat like, said, "Bitch." <laughs> the, the cat said, "Bitch, you don't see that." <laughs> I the kid was. That's why he looking like he looking right, right at it. Yeah, yeah. But so listen to y'all animals. <laughs> the kid like I tried to tell you. Listen, <laughs> woo. <laughs> Good thing he didn't get big. He out there in the bonies, man. Look at him. Y'all don't come get somebody to get this. Which snake bigger, that snake or the snake that we? That snake that, that was snake. on that. Oh, oh hey, my somebody, gosh, somebody had a snake on their. Somebody. Uh, <laughs> they was know. out in the boonies too, in a, on the ring camera. Ring, yeah, on and the, the app. In, in the ring app, they were like, "Can somebody come help with this? Yeah, what I'm supposed to do? Was it was up. late. It was like, what was it? It was like, uh, it was like twelve. It was like twelve. It was like, it was 12, it was like, like midnight. midnight. Yeah. yeah, because I'm on there trying to like look up on Google, looking up stuff for him. Like, but I think but, somebody ended up commenting. No, so. nobody ended up coming. Oh, nobody nobody commented. I was like trying to see. Like, I was like, it was this a place. Like, this place it's open. a big ass snake, bro. It was big. It's bigger than that, and it was literally just in it her, was, on the front it door. It was so big. Wrapped around the whole front door. I said, "Damn, that's." I ain't never seen a snake that big before. Way bigger than this. A big angry snake is hiding around the edges of Jason's front door and lunges out in an attempt to bite him. Ooh. Luckily for Jason, the bite was a miss, and the snake Ooh, is actually a non-poisonous black rat snake. Mm. Oh, okay. But something to be learned it. from this. If you walk up and your cat is just staring at the door and meowing and, for yeah. no reason, <laughs> maybe take a closer look before back, you just head. And that ball for go. <laughs> look at the cat. Look at the cat. So he jumped. Look at Cassie. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and 
another clip, a man and woman have a similar scary encounter. Look, the cat already see some. Look at the cat. The cat do already see. Oh my god. What the fuck we see? Okay, the cat got scared down. Oh shit. The couple the pulls on an old back. step stool and is shocked to a find snake. a large snake hiding under a box right in front of it. They what make a run for it with their puppy following close behind. How's the oh, puppy? puppy. The puppy. Look, the puppy went again. He said, hold on, can't forget my toy. Can't forget my shit. He's <laughs> not gonna go let the snake toy. have his toy. <laughs> So he runs back in and get yanks your, it away. Get your, oh, it's not you. Nothing <laughs> is getting his favorite set. Game right. changer. <laughs> Nuke's top five viewer, Christopher Duncan, emailed us some creepy CCTV footage captured at a small church in rural Mississippi. The CCTV camera is recording the playroom of the church's, quote, youth group when something happens that no one at the church can explain. <laughs> Watch. Watch, John. Are you watching this? What the fuck? What hand was that? Hold on, first of all. Okay. Um, also, why does look? Why does look like it's not laying on the ground? I don't know. It just looks weird to me. Maybe it's the kind of stick. Watch, watch, John. Are you watching this thing? It's, it's not. No way. Oh. Watch, watch, watch. Watch on, it, watch. Better, so bad. Nobody listens to me. There's ghosts in here. Nobody listens to me. Watch it. It's about to go crazy and bright. Oh. <laughs> ah! It's still moving. It's still moving, y'all. It's still moving. Oh it's still moving. It's still moving. Once the air goes from the top, you'll freak out. It's so good. A pool stick on the floor of the church playroom can be seen rolling around shaking and vibrating hear all on its own before it just snaps right in half. Unless it was talking Chris says that the kids in the room were so busy and loud that they didn't even notice the creepy event. But after playtime, church officials found the broken pool stick on the floor and went back to check the CCTV footage to find to out who just who did it. They were pretty shocked to see that the pool stick seemed to just break on its own. Chris says the church is known to be haunted and that there have been many other incidents of paranormal activity over the last 20 years. 20. So could this be the work of an angry spirit or an aggressive entity? And why at a church? Let me know what you think. Come on now, you know why, Newt. Don't, don't start that. It's in Mississippi now, come on yeah, now. <laughs> we all know why. Yeah, better them, go in there and them, that, land, that land in Mississippi got some dark history behind it. You ever heard of Mississippi burning? If you're not, look it up. You know, it, it'll, it'll explain a lot. It's a lot of things. Is, you ever heard of? Uh, I think I think I missed. The, I think I missed the part where it was in Mississippi. That's an old old church in, in Mississippi. Uh, that's crazy. Ever heard about what happened in Muddy Mississippi? Hey, hey, pshh. Well, I'd be surprised if some ghosts say, "Ooh, bitch, we finna get some payback." Hey, it would surprise me. I'll be like, "Surprise, surprise, ho." Okay. Strange noises. From the toilet. Toilet. This next video was posted to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit, and I really appreciate all my subreddit followers, so I'm just gonna repeat what someone on there wrote that I should say about this video. Ready user Minato caught something really odd on his home camera while pooping. So user Minato is actually a guy named Dustin, and he apparently has an extensive collection of bongs. But never mind that. Let's just analyze what Dustin heard while um, dropping the kids off at the pool. Hello? A soft female voice can be heard calling out, Dustin? Now Dustin is home alone, but he says the voice was so clear that he thought a stranger was standing right outside his bathroom door. Even creepier, Dustin's two dogs seem to be anxiously looking around the living room, almost they, as if they, they can see something. something that we can't. So did Dustin capture, quote, something really odd on his home camera while pooping? And just how many bongs does one fellow need? 
Dustin, uh, you can answer these questions and more down in the comments. Dustin, you might got a problem. <laughs> more than ghosts. Hello? Melville Cemetery. A new stop by viewer and YouTuber who goes by the name Wishy reached out to us about a live stream from the allegedly haunted Melville Cemetery in Melville, New York. Wishy says that his friend Brian went out to broadcast a Ouija board session live. Oh, you, you, you asking for shit. Y'all better stop playing. I'm telling y'all. You asking for it, bro. You asking for it. Think I'm finna go blue. Folks rest now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you disturbing my peace, ho. What's up? You want me? I'm coming to get you. Hey, I'll be like that, though. If I'm dead and I can become a ghost, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm here trying to lay and get my rest on, but you want to come disturb my peace? Hell yeah, I'm finna disturb yours, too. <laughs> yeah, bitch, we up. What's up, ho? Hey, from the Melville Cemetery, hey, all his friends watched and talked to him on Discord. Now, the Melville Cemetery is located on okay, Sweet Hollow Road. <laughs> A road that has many tragic and ghostly legends attached to it. One such legend is that a school bus driver lost control and drove off the bridge crossing Sweet Hollow Road. All of the school children on the bus met a tragic fate. Another legend says that three boys took their own lives by hanging themselves from that very same Sweet Hollow Bridge. So it goes without saying that Sweet Hollow Road and the cemetery are said to be extremely haunted. Brian is on a Discord call with his friends, who you'll hear in the background, and he is streaming live as he decides to do a Ouija board session just outside the gate of the Melville Cemetery. Things start to go wrong, and what happens next is truly terrifying. Yo, that's moving. Yo, oh my god, look up. Why is it going to no? It said no? It said no. Be like, yo, yo, the camera's moving. Yo, bro, the camera's moving. The camera's moving. Bro, I'm leaving, bro. Yo, I'm leaving. Was it you that moved the camera? Bro, the fucking car is going off, bro. Bro. Understandably, Brian is a little freaked out, but he manages to stay calm, reposition his camera, and continue his live stream. Are there any spirits here that would like to talk to me? Bro, I didn't even ask it. That's insane, dude. Was that you that just turned on the alarm? Yes. Brian is a little freaked out, but his friends keep telling him that he needs to go and say goodbye using F the Ouija friends. board. Fuck them friends. I said, them friends. That ain't your friend, bro. So, you ain't finna keep sending me out here with these. Uh, by myself, y'all at home on the thing. Y'all come over here. You see, in the paranormal yes. community, not signing off by saying goodbye at the end of a session is considered to be a horrible mistake and is said to invite the contacted spirit to remain attached to the Ouija board user. So, Brian goes back. And this is when sh goes sideways. I took the lights and everything. Bro. Oh my fing god, bro. Bitch, how that shit? 
Do he get his Bro. keys? Where's the board went in. Get the phone, get your phone. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh my god, I saw that. We caught that on camera. I'm leaving, bro. Yo, 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 get the out of here. Get the out of here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Bro, you acting like that will make the other person even more panic frantic. You at the house. What you get? Bro, get the fuck out of there, bro. Get you out of here. You at the crib. Hey, I don't know why y'all think it's okay and fun to go mess with. Dead. The dead, especially going into a cemetery. Yeah, you, you know how many different people have like are in the cemetery, all yep. walks of life. Damn like, sure. let's stop doing that. The Ouija board suddenly slides across the pavement to the other side of the locked gate, right Come on. into Melville Cemetery. Brian starts to leave. But after everything that has happened, he again begins to worry that he didn't say goodbye after using the Ouija board. So Brian goes back again. Oh. He plans to jump the fence and retrieve the board. I'm jumping the fence, bro. I'm jumping the fence. Bro. Bro, Chris. Chris, look at the stream. There's a big fire in there. There's a fire? There's a fire. Yeah, I'll see the I'll yeah, see the Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, bro, so what is burning though? A fire can be seen burning on the road inside the cemetery. Even though his friends advise him to just leave, Brian once again feels that he should definitely try to retrieve that board to say goodbye. It's in you didn't see it? No. Oh, you had no, no, no. I, I wasn't on my phone. I was looking at the oh, 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 shit. Look, throw the fire, throw the fire. This is the whole. Oh, do it literally a fire. Woo! Do you see some walking? Or is that just me? Over here. Over here in this corner. Okay, throw the fire, throw the fire. This is the whole. Oh, do it literally a fire. This is the whole. Bro, I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Yesterday you did your blessings, you did your prayers. Remember that, boy. It's literally grace. I ain't going to no cemetery tonight anyway. No, it's not. If you know, you know. Ain't that right, see? Bro, I see it. I see it. It's the Yo, it's the board. board. It's the board. It's the board and the planchette. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not touching it. So do I just say goodbye? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye. Dragon, say goodbye. I did. Brian is finally able to say goodbye on the Ouija board, and he just gets out of there. But is it real? Or is it all just a very elaborate live stream hoax? Huh? I said I'm not here to determine that. Yeah, I ain't determining I that shit. To you I'm just watching. Just watch. You can see even more of this scary live Ouija board session over on the YouTube channel. I'm Wishy drawn out. Tattoo artist Liz Cruz is working on a customer's tattoo in her home studio in Erie, Pennsylvania. Things suddenly take a very disturbing turn. I'm just, um, like, adjusting the wheel a little bit. Yeah, and we'll, we'll let that essential drive for something. So we'll Look at all house. I think I'm going to do the, uh, enter the black and then... Just that part really, yeah, that's, yeah, that's really, I think that that was a really cute, like, especially, like, if I, like, blend it, blend it in, I'm, like, blend it in, like, what's up? What happened? Like, the table just moved. What the f*** do you mean the table just moved? In the name of Jesus, leave us the f*** alone. Okay, wait a minute now. What do you mean? I just swear to God. Oh my gosh! Hell no! <laughs> That's all, girl. Cause look, 
Okay. Girl. What do you mean? My thing is tattoo artists. Do you ever deal with this? If not, then this motherfucker got some following. Her. Bitch right said, well, I'm going to just have a seat right here. <laughs> the motherfucker pull the chair back like we getting ready to have a seat. Maybe watch. Hell no. The table with Liz's tattoo supplies suddenly rolls away from her all by itself. Liz and her customer are a bit freaked out, but try to remain calm. But then a chair lurches out from a table nearby, and the two have had Liz, about enough. They get up and just make a run for it. See, we tattoo artist Liz says that she has no idea what happened to them that day, but she believes that they might have experienced something, quote, far beyond the ordinary. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. and Twitter. Okay. Okay, that was good. That was a good one. This was interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very much so, to say the least. Yeah. Y'all spend us up in the comments. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about it. Let us know if y'all believe it. Y'all don't. Hey, that's up to you to decide, not us, Not man. us. But hey, y'all spend us up. Let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about it in the comment section down below. But until next time. Y'all know how it go, man. I do go with the name DJ New Kid. This is We are. We are. Go and get it. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't neglect me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar.